Hi, I'm Melissa Mortensen from Polka Dot Chair, and I'm here today in the Fat Quarter Shop studio to show you how to make a Satu Star Block. This block is the first block in our Let's Stay Home Quilt Row Along. Um, Satu Star Block is a really simple block to make. It's made up of half square triangles and then a center square with some squares on the side. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I like to make Satu Square Blocks. There's a couple of different ways to do it, but I prefer to do it using half square triangles. So I'm gonna show you first how to make a half square triangle. Okay, so what you wanna do is you're gonna have two squares of fabric. You're gonna usually have a white piece if your background fabric's white and then a print fabric or a color fabric. And you're just gonna layer them on top of each other, right sides facing. And then you are gonna use a ruler and a fabric, fabric safe pen, something you can write on fabric with. And you're just going to come here and you're going to measure from corner to corner diagonally and just draw a line right down the fabric. And I usually always draw the line on the lighter fabric just so you can see it a little easier. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna take your block over to your sewing machine. And you need to know on your sewing machine where your quarter inch mark is. And you're gonna come on and you're gonna stitch down a quarter inch on each side of that line that you just drew down the center. And after you've done that, you're gonna go ahead and cut it apart. And another tip, um, this block has lots of half square triangles. So one thing that you can do is you can chain piece. So what I'll usually do is like mark and stack up a whole bunch of these at one time and then just sit at my machine and just feed them one after each other into the machine and it makes it really fast to go ahead and do it that way versus like doing one from start to finish. Okay, so then you're gonna come over here and you are going to use your ruler and you're just gonna cut right along that line so that you get two pieces. Okay, now we need to go ahead and we need to press it. As a general rule, um, when I do this, I like to press to the seam to the darker side. So what I'll usually do is put the darker side of the fabric up and I hit it once just to kind of set the seam. And then I come in and I fold it up with my fingers and I'm just really careful not to, because it's on the bias since it's a diagonal, just trying to be really careful not to distort that too much. And then you're just gonna hit it once just up and down, and then we'll go ahead and do the other one. The way that I do half square triangles is I like to cut them a little bit bigger than they need to be so that I can trim them down to size because you can always trim extra off, but you can't add any fabric on. So then what you wanna do is these need to be perfect squares, and they are not perfect squares right now. So what I like to use, I like to use a rotating cutting mat and then a block lock ruler. So you're just gonna go ahead and you're gonna lay your block down on the mat and then you're just gonna line it up so that you've got fabric all the way around and then you're just gonna come in and you're just gonna come around all four sides and this is why the rotating cutting mat is so nice because you can just sit and do this really fast. Okay, and then you can see I usually use a ruler just to put that stuff out of the way. And you can see the difference between like a trimmed and a not trimmed block. So then the last thing we have to do, which is really easy, and this is another step that I like to do like in bulk. So I'll sew all of one section and all of the next section, especially if I'm making multiple blocks, is we're gonna go ahead and lay out our block. So we've got your center square, and then we've got our half square triangles that we made. And usually I'll just go and lay it out just so as I'm sewing, I know what pieces I wanna sew. And then you gotta make sure you get all these points correct because I have sewn them together the wrong way before. And these aren't, that one's not trimmed, but I'll go ahead and lay it out so you can see. And then you've got your four corner squares that you've already you pre-cut. Okay, now the way that I like to do this is I like to sew all of my um, half square triangles together like this along all, all of the sets of two together. And then what I'll come in is these sets of two that are stitched together, I'll go ahead and I stitch them to each side of this block 
just like this, super simple. And then press that open and then stitch these four pieces together on the top and the bottom. And then go ahead and stitch that to this piece. And then go ahead and press it. And when you're done, you can see you've got a really nice block. And you can kind of see on the back, if you look at this, how these two pieces were sewn first and then these were added on. So just give it a good pressing. And for the quilt, you need to make 10 Sawtooth Star Blocks. Thanks for sewing the Sawtooth Star Block with me today. Make sure you join us for the rest of the row along. Go ahead and watch for more videos coming up to finish the rest of the blocks.